It's January the 7th, 2012, here at the White House doing closed Guantanamo stuff. Here are some anti Laurent Kabila demonstrators here in front of the White House. They just got here, and we have a 24 hour vigil to uh, close Guantanamo that we have just started a few hours ago. It's day five of the fast. We have people here in this cage dressed up as Guantanamo detainees. Also, this week, hi, Mike. Mike, Hello. Mike Levinson, one of the people sentenced. One of the people found guilty of disrupting Congress in court this week for speaking out against uh, Guantanamo and what was to become the NDAA. Mike, uh, on Friday you were sentenced by the judge. How did you appeal to him in your sen in that sentencing? I appealed to his heart, and I think I reached his heart. I uh, I talked about uh, some of the history of uh, violence in my life and how it had led me to develop a strong empathetic attitude toward other people in the world who had uh, been oppressed and, uh, and abused and uh, I uh, gave a very brief simple description of what actually happened uh, in the uh, house chamber uh, back in June on the 23rd and uh, uh, it was uh, the testimony that I was not allowed to uh, uh, present uh, during the trial. And uh, I, 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 I repeated for him what I had actually said in the House chamber. The prosecutors claimed that we had caused a massive disruption and that we were screaming and yelling and, and doing all sorts of horrible things. But I, I explained to the judge that I simply said one thing, one sentence. I said, uh, torturing human beings is never acceptable. And uh, I said it once, and they escorted me out of the uh, gallery. And as they were escorting me out of the gallery, I repeated this again three times, and I repeated it to the judge, as I had said it in the gallery. Torturing human beings is never acceptable. And then, so the prosecutor, the prosecutor asked the judge for what did he asked to, to sentence you to 30 days. The prosecutor asked for 30 days, and I believe a $400 fine. And you said to the judge, Judge, Your Honor, I would like to give $150 to the charity of my choice rather than go to jail for 30 days and pay a $400 fine. And the judge said, Okay, Mr. Levinson, that sounds good to me too. <laughs> Basically, that's what happened. It didn't happen exactly in those words, <laughs> but. Basically, that's what happened. I think I touched his heart, and uh, I had been advised ahead of time that the judge would probably never do this, but I think that I, I hit a soft spot, and I perhaps I hit a, uh, a reasonable spot. You know, perhaps it wasn't just emotion or appeal. Perhaps it was reason, and maybe it may even set a legal precedent. But uh, I, I told him that you know I wouldn't mind paying a punitive fine if I knew exactly where the money was going to go to. And I made a proposal. I said, I will pay $150 if I can give the money as a contribution to AIDS research. And uh, he agreed. He said, sure, you can do that. And, uh, and it worked out. And I'm, and I'm satisfied with the way it was resolved. And I'm satisfied with, with his attitude about it. And uh, I only hope that he shows the same understanding and compassion on the 12th when the last three of the defendants are going to be sentenced. So you didn't go to jail, and now here you are on the street protesting I'm back Guantanamo. on the street, you know. You know, you always have to be on the street. I'm here in front of the White House, and we're vigiling 24 hours uh, in the jumpsuits, and, as we do. and. Uh, we're ghost walking all around the Capitol and we're spreading the word among the public because uh, that's where the decisions are going to be made. Uh, in American history, the decisions are always made in the streets. They're not made in the halls of Congress. And you could address the politicians in the halls of Congress, but ultimately the decisions are made in the streets and the politicians always jump on the bandwagon after the people take to the streets and make it clear what the will of the people are. 
And so that's where this issue is going to be settled, right here in the streets of Washington around the world, with people protesting, people in the orange jumpsuits, people in the cages, and uh, people doing civil disobedience.